welcome at Clay TV. Your entertainment plug. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new videos of it. Hi guys, welcome. This is FCLEV TV, your entertainment plug. Remember, if you're joining us for the first time, please like and subscribe to this channel. So, trending at hashtag one in Nigeria and even international is the hashtag end SARS. This started on the Nigerian Twitter, which is a, mo a social movement opposing the special anti-robbery squad, a unit of the Nigerian police force. It is a call by the Nigerian youth and Nigerians in general to end police oppression and brutality in Nigeria. The campaign started as a social media campaign using the hashtag NSARS to demand for Nigerians government to scrap and end the deployment of Nigerian police force special anti-robbery squad known by all as SARS. A lot of Nigerians, especially youths, have come out to share stories, sad stories actually, and video evidences of how members of SARS have engaged in kidnapping, murder, theft, rape, torture, unlawful arrest, high-handedness, humiliation, unlawful detention, extrajudicial killings, and extortion on the innocent Nigerian youths. These SARS officials would usually profile youths based on their appearance. The youths have come out to cry and say, looking good is not an offense. Being a Nigerian is not an offense. The SARS officials will mount illegal roadblocks, conduct illegal stop and search, breaking and entry, and operate without search warrants. These units are known to extort young Nigerians for wearing or using status symbols like iPhones, luxury vehicles, sneaker brands such as Nike and Adidas. They would also look out for people and harass them, people who have piercings, tattoos, dreadlocks, gold chains, gold wristwatches, iPhones. In fact, if you have more than one phone, you now have system on top. It's a crime. <laughs> oh my god. Now, this has been attributed to feelings of inferior inferiority amongst the police. The campaigners moved from social media to organizing peaceful protests all across the nation in cities and states like Abuja, Lagos, Ibadan, Oshun State, Bini City, Delta, Ilori, and Oweri. And they've promised to continue if the government refused to disband the South Force. It is actually sad because it started on the 3rd of October 2020, where an online trending video showed a SARS police officer allegedly shot a young Nigerian at the front of the Wetland Hotel in Delta State, Nigeria. It was alleged that the police officers took away the young man's vehicle, which was a Lexus SUV. The trending video raised public outcry on social media, especially on Twitter with the hashtag NSARS trending in a diverse part of Nigeria. On Thursday, the 8th of October 2020, nationwide protests on Hensa started after weeks of outcry and hunger with videos and pictures, police brutality, harassment, and extortion in Nigeria. The protests were led predominantly by young Nigerians, youths, in diverse cities with many activists and celebrities such as Shegun Awosonya, Mr. Macaroni, Debo Adebayo, Falarin Falano, known as Fowls, Tiwa Savage, Toke Makinwa, Naira Mali, Tacha, DJ Spinner, Ward, Paul Okoye, Small Doctor, Ron Town, and a lot of many other celebrities. 
and the Nigerian police for surprisingly disrupted the protest. Might I say the peaceful protest in a lot of cities firing bullets to the sky, tear gas to armless peaceful protesters as seen in several parts of the country like in Abuja and Ocean states. This is actually really sad. International demonstrations were also organized by Nigerians in diaspora in the United States, Canada, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. Many Nigerians and Nigerian diaspora celebrities gave supportive statements on social media and took part in, took, took part in protests while demonstrators pled to continue until the, the demands are met. We see the likes of Mike Edwards, Big Brother Nigeria Reality TV star Whiskey, Cardi B, Lil Baby, Chance the Rapper, and a lot of other Nigerians in diasporas, and even Nigeria people who are not Nigerians actually supporting this. Now, my fellow Nigerian youths, this is a war. And you know what we do with wars? We fight till we win them. Remember if you think you are not affected. Who knows? Your loved ones are out there, right? You can never tell what will happen if you choose to look away. So we will not look away. We will fight. We will fight till we win. And we will win this war. Nigerians, surprisingly, are not coming out to fight for good economy, which we deserve. We are not coming out to fight for light which we deserve. We are not coming out to fight for a better living, which we deserve. We are just fighting to actually live. That's not too much to ask as a Nigerian, right? Please stay safe, guys. We fight this war till we win. Alita Continua Victoria Asata. Stay safe, guys. Bye. Thank you for watching our videos. If you're not a subscriber yet, kindly click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get notified whenever we release a new video. Thank you.